greeting beloveds do me a favor if you like this video I want you to hit that notification button right after you subscribe and like it okay don't forget to do that please and thank you how y'all doing beloved welcome to culture and dining with a day I gave welcome to my world this is our day today I'm going to make for you something that I had when I did my lunch party. It was the watermelon mimosa. Yes. And that watermelon mimosa was made with a drink that I got from a sister friend named Sister Maria. And she used to go to Haiti quite often and quite a bit of the time when she was there, it was during the summer months and it is hot. And the reason she introduced me to this drink is because during the summers, I teach water fitness and I'm out on a pool deck as early as, let's see, nine o'clock in the morning and as late as 7 p.m. And even though it may be eight o'clock in the morning or it, in the evening, it still can be hot here in Houston. And we have this crazy kind of wet, dry humidity. I don't know what to tell you to call it, but it's a weird thing. And it's humid and it's hot. Some days it feels like it's hell hot. And she was saying to me, you need a drink that you can take with you as you're going from pool to pool to refresh yourself. So, what we're going to make today is an refreshing drink, Haitian style, or as she would say, from IAT, right? Right. So, what's in it, I day? Okay, so, there's three simple ingredients. Watermelon, ginger, lemon. And if your melon's not quite sweet because they picked it way too soon, or it's not a Hempstead melon with seeds in it, then just a pinch of sugar in it just to lift that flavor up just a little bit. So I'm going to prepare some things and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, beloved, so if you can see right here, I've already juiced and strained my watermelon. And now I have to cut up some ginger. So, it's amazing. I also have some ginger lemon tea here. Yeah. It's amazing how refreshing the combination of lemon and ginger can be. It's, yeah, it's very refreshing and very energizing. And it has these uh, awesome healing properties. You can look those up for yourself, you know. The University of uh, Google and uh, YouTube can help you out real good. So what I'm gonna do with Okay, as you can see in this bowl here, I have some watermelon juice that I have used a potato masher because I don't have a juicer. So I just take it, smash it, right? And then I put it in a colander or a strainer, either way. Mostly I use a, a colander because it has the seeds and the pulp is still there. And it's just easier than it is to uh, use a strainer to get it. Because I still need to be able to push and continue to get as much of the juice out of the pulp as possible. And then I'm going to take here got some ginger I've chopped up I'm gonna put this is about a fourth of a cup of lemon juice and then I'm gonna take some of my watermelon juice and I'm going to put it kind of fill this up to the line right this is gonna be a little bit noisy so Y'all just hold on for a minute. I won't be rude. I'm gonna come back to you, okay? I'm gonna come back. I ain't gonna make a whole bunch of noise in your ear. That's rude. Okay, so this is what we got going on here. A lemon juiced. About a fourth of a cup is what I used. 
Uh, if you like lime, you can use lime as well. It's, it's up to you, beloved. And don't ask me other than the fourth of a cup of lemon juice, however much watermelon juice I got, because I don't measure it. And then a piece of ginger, about like your thumb. You take that, you cut that up, you mix it up in a little blender, and you put it in whatever blender or choppy thing that you have to puree it. And you take it and pour it into, see it all froths up. I don't want the froth. I don't want the froth. So let's find something else to do with the froth. I'm gonna take that off. So yeah, back to the Sister Maria. Because when she would be in Haiti, and going up and down in the mountain, helping the people, because that's she had an organization called Haitian American Ministries. And as she was doing that and going through the countryside, you know, you think of the mountains as being cool, but that's a little heat on your way up or down. So she, the, the people would make this for her, and it also helped balance out her blood sugar. So. We're gonna mix this together. All right, stir him up. Mix him way he's nice and tender. And this helped to keep her body temperature regulated. So, as again, me running around the city, because I think during that time, I was teaching probably two in the morning and two in the evening. So I was early to mid morning and late afternoon to early evening classes. And whew, Houston heat was not so nice. So let me get a little taste of this and see if I need to add any sugar to it or not. But me, I really don't mind it because I like that little bit of um, heat from the ginger, the refreshing thing from the uh, lemon. Oh no, that's good. That's good right there. It didn't need any. So I got these jars right here. So let's see just how much I actually have. How many cups we got here? That's one. Okay, so we ended up with two of these 12 ounce mason jars plus about this is three and a half ounces probably would have been another half a cup if you count that which I tasted earlier so you could top this off with a sprig of mint if you like and just drink it as it is it's up to you beloved however it feels right for you now, the next day after my launch party, when I was celebrating, oh my God, this is good. I decided I was going to make myself a mimosa. So I used some of this refreshy and the McBride Sisters Hawk Bay sparkling brute rosé, I believe what it is. I'll have a picture of it at the end of the video. And made myself a watermelon mimosa. At least that's what I called it. But you could use whatever champagne or sparkling wine that you want to use, beloved, and just make it be your own. All right? This is my refreshing drink from IAT. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell 
tell somebody about me. Oh yeah, that's a button that you're supposed to hit. It's the bell. It'll give you a notification when I drop my next video. This is our day. How you like my apron? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. It's from the People's Kitchen Collective. Part of the original breakfast program. All right, peace out y'all. Have a good one.